In this video, I show you a playing concept that I am exploring myself at the moment and I am still far away from mastering the subject. I find it helpful for me to work with a kind of a chart like that. And because I demonstrated with a groove based on seven, I use seven numbers. But it can be done with eight beats or any other time signature. I use three elements, the ding, the shoulder and the tone field area. I don't hit an exact tone field. I try to hit the shoulder and two tone fields at once. My aim is to combine those three elements to an interesting groove. Here the first example. T stands for tone field area, D for the ding and S for the shoulder. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now I do the same, but I set a tone field hit also on the six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now I do the same with a double stroke on the five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Here a different combination. Start with the ding, tone field area, shoulder, ding. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Same with a double stroke on the three and the six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And as a last example, I do the same, but I use a triplet on the three and a double stroke on six and seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. To do the triplet I use three fingers 
but it can be done with two fingers as well. To play the triplets with an accurate rhythm, I count them with the word Yabada and the double strokes with the word double. So instead of counting one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, I count one, two, yabada, four, five, double, double. One, two, yabada, four, five, double, double. One, two, yabada, four, five, double, double. There are lots of combinations possible. Finally, here comes another way to play triplets. It goes like this. To play this, you should make a fist and lean your fingers against your palm and then snip each finger to the open position. It took me about three weeks to learn this movement. So, I hope you found this video helpful. Don't miss the next one because it's certainly the best of the entire series.